basically, how can I say it? It's just being real to yourself, uh, knowing oneself, knowing that you have a tendency to, or well, everyone does, to actually go berserk. But knowing how to acknowledge that, that's the first step, which mm -hmm. I did, funny enough, last night. And just watching something normal on TV, you know, what would you, you know what do in that kind of situation? Would you go all out? Well, I just thought, go out or go berserk. And it was very animal-like, what I saw myself doing. And I mm. said, no, that can't work. That can't work. Yeah. Then I recognised it was me. That's me. So I said, well, God, that has to go. It needs to be destroyed. And then I heard, you can't destroy yourself. Yes, I... So then I sort of thought, you know, I've actually oh, seen God. this version of me. Mm. It's... I can't describe it. It's all out chaos. That's a version of me. Yeah. There was a part of my life where Wonderful. that happened. And that's what Kale's done. Everyone has that in them. So, yes. I guess at some point, there has to be some peace between that part oh, of me God, God. and acceptance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, only one trait of me which is my true self has to stay dominant. Mm -hmm. Those others can't come in a mix. That side of me could have got me in prison. That side of me could have made me a murderer. Mm -hmm. And these are things that people need to really look at yeah, yeah. and think about. Especially with the energy that got to contend with at the minute. The energy, what's Victoria just said, it's very, 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 very true. Too now, too. there will come a point that Funny enough, by the grace of God, he's got me out of that point. Mm -hmm. And it's called, I'd say, turbulence. I'd put it down to the shifting of things that are going on. Yeah. Now, if you've got uh, an attitude or a certain thing or an addiction, I don't know, it could be something. It could be so that that part of you could, I don't know, fluctuate so much, so at the time with myself I didn't know where I was I didn't know where I was going I couldn't see I had no con concept or, mm. of what was going on um, obviously I was dealing with the pain mm. of seeing my mother's health deteriorate mm. so things were quite fast paced mm. um, three men mental episodes yeah. but I'm still here love it still here three, two, three. and um one of the main factors of this journey is having true friends who are transparent mm, around. That. You have to have that. You can't love have it. anything but that. Yeah. This is going forward into now. Yeah. What is coming, we need to be around people who are transparent. I can't <laughs> say any clearer than that. Yeah. So much so that my head is just is getting electrified by by saying it. <laughs> we need to be with people who are transparent yes. and clear. Not clear as though you're clear to your man there, but also clear to the great almighty one up there because he might drop something in your box. <laughs> Give you something. Do you not know also that we are vessels? It is written scripturally whether you want to believe scripture or not but mm -hmm. at the end of the day we are still vessels because we carry we carry for others we empty out for others yes. and then we get filled up again so you've got to look at look at it like your experiences in life things that you've gone through you've got much so much so to give out to other people for me I could say it could be um suicide or things like that I could talk to people on that level about yeah, yeah. certain things uh, the separation
frustration of, of not having your father about for what, 40 years, that's me. So there's a lot of things I can share with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the places of darkness, uh, um, of, of, you know, running away, thinking, taking loads of cocaine and, and all that is going to help. But, you know, you can only go so far. Mm. Me, personally, I went so far that where I'm sitting in the room with other people, I can count the amount of people with me and, but there's another person sitting in the room. This person didn't have no figure, no nothing. It was just black. Like a black void, like an abyss. You could see and they just, just went into just dark, dark darkness. And I shat my pants. <laughs> so that's the best way to describe it. When you know that we live in this world, there is the unseen that yeah. is also, well, that's more real than this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my End gosh. End off. Do you know what I mean? Yep. That's more real than this plane here. Yep. And on that plane, there's a lot of things going on. There's people who are held so hostage and they don't even know they've been held hostage yep. or held to ransom. Mm -hmm. And this is why, as I say, there needs to be a level of transparency. Right there's there. no level, but there just needs to be okay. transparency between us. If something's whining, you need to just share it, tell us. Yep. If we can help, we'll help. You know what I'm saying? We're here to help people. We're not here for ourselves. That's the truth. I'm not here for me. You know what I mean? I'm sort of realising that, you know, 